Okay, let's get to the facts. Number one. Let's take the old man who lived on the second floor right under the room where the murder took place. At 10 minutes to 12, the night of the killing, he heard loud noises coming from the upstairs apartment. He said it sounded, it sounded like a fight. Then he heard the kid say to his father, I'm going to kill you. A second later, he heard a body falling, and he ran to the door of his apartment and saw the kid running downstairs and out of the house. Then he called the police. They found the father with a knife in his chest. And the coroner fixed the time of death at around midnight. Right. Now what else do you want? Something doesn't fit. The boy's entire story is flimsy. He claimed he was at the movies. That's a little ridiculous, isn't it? He couldn't even remember what picture he saw. That's right. Did you hear that? You're absolutely right. He didn't have any ticket stuff. Who keeps a ticket stuff at the movies? That's true enough. I suppose, but the cashier didn't remember. And the ticket taker didn't either. Look, what about the woman across the street? If her testimony don't prove it, then nothing does. That's right, she saw the killing, didn't she? What's going oh, on? Just a minute. Here's a woman who's lying in bed and can't sleep. It's, it's hot, you know? Anyway, she wakes up and looks out the window, and right across the street, she sees the kid stick the knife into his father. How can she really be sure it was the kid? She saw it through the windows of a passing elevated train. She's known the kid his full life. His window is right opposite of hers across the yellow tracks, and she swore she saw him do it. I heard her swear to it. Okay. And they proved it in court that you can look through the windows of a passing out train at night and see what's happening on the other side. They proved it. Weren't you telling us just a minute or two ago that you can't believe them? That you can't trust them? So? Well, then I'd like to ask you something. How can you believe her? She's one of them, too, isn't she? You're a pretty smart fellow. Now, aren't you? Come on. Sit down. What are you letting me go upset for? Relax. Okay, now everyone, they did take us out to the woman's room and we looked through the windows of a moving elevated train, didn't we? Yes, we did. And weren't you able to see what happened on the other side? I didn't see as well as they told me I would see, but I did see what happened on the other side. You see? Do you see? Calm down, man. It's your turn. I'll pass it. That's your privilege? How about you? I don't know. I started to be convinced with the testimony from the people across the hall, didn't they say something about an argument between the boy and his father around 7 o'clock that night? I mean, I can be wrong. I, I believe it was uh, 8 o'clock, not, not 7. That's right, 8 o'clock. They said they heard the father hit the boy twice and then saw the boy walk angrily out of the house. Right. What is that for? Well, it doesn't exactly prove anything. It's just part of the picture. I didn't say it proved anything. Anything else? No. I don't know. Most of it's been said already. We could talk all day about this thing, but I think we're wasting our time. I don't. Neither do I. Go on. Look at the kid's record. He stole a car. He's been arrested for mugging. I think they said he stabbed somebody in the arm. They did. He was picked up for night fight. At 15, he was in reform school. And they sent him to reform school for stabbing someone. Oh, this is a very fine boy. Ever since he was five years old, his father beat him up regularly. He used his fist. So would I. A kid like that? You're right. It's the kids. Where they are, you know? They don't listen. I've got a kid. When he was eight years old, he ran away from a fight. I saw him. I was so ashamed. I told him right out, either I'm gonna make a man out of you, or I'm gonna bust you up into a little piece of shrine. He was 15 and hit me in the face. He's big, you know? I haven't seen him in three years. Rotten kid, I hate tough kids. You'll work your heart out for him and then... And then... All right. Let's get on with it.